What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. We got a special weekend mail day here, courtesy of Card Hobby. Doesn't look like a lot, but there is a ton of cards shoved into these packages. This kind of came in one bigger box from Card Hobby. Um, for anyone, I'm not sure how many people watching have ordered stuff from Card Hobby, but if you do buy from there, I'm sure you're well aware that they are extremely slow right now with weighing and shipping orders out all the uh, some of the cards in these two packages i've been waiting on for like four months i think it's been since i won some of them um so a lot of this stuff has been just kind of sitting waiting to get shipped finally showed up so i didn't want to wait at all just wanted to get these packages and get all this stuff sorted and organized show off what we got here in the mail day as always stuff in the back Kind of shades of things to come later in the mail day, but let's grab this first big batch here with some set chase stuff and some oddballs, oddball stuff. Speaking of oddball, this might be one of the most oddball cards I've ever bought from Card Hobby. When I was looking for elite stuff for the set chases I'm working on, I came across this Kelly Oubre uh, status die cut numbered out of 12. I got this for like a dollar um, and Kelly Oubre has actually been playing or was playing pretty good for the Sixers this year and he was getting a lot of attention but the, ever since Embiid went down they've been losing a ton of games uh, so I'm not sure how much this is worth now but I'm sure I could find someone who wants to pay more than a dollar for it if there's any Kelly Oubre friends you want to get this status number to 12 those are not easy to find so I, it, was, it was only a buck and no one else bid on it so I figured why not try and see what happens ended up winning that um, now for our, getting back to our other elite stuff, so made a ton of progress. And you're going to see more of this as more of my older card hobby orders uh, get processed and shipped. Tons and tons and tons of elite for the set chase. We got Jeremy Lin, this guy, <laughs> Earl Clark. Again, these were like a buck each, if, if not uh, less than that. Serge Ibaka, so we got some vets there. Um, also got a bunch of rookies. Tried to buy. I try to buy bigger lots when I can. Sometimes I end up getting duplicates that way, but that's fine. Austin Rivers and Alec Burks, rookies, numbered out of 249. He's still playing. He's doing podcasts now. <laughs> Probably still trying to get on a team. I don't know if that's going to work for him. Um, we got some more rookies in this batch, too. I think I probably have a few dupes. Um, in this one, but I know I needed at least a few of them. Terrence Ross, I think I needed him. Prigioni, I may have had. Kent Bazemore, Marcus Morris, Tyshawn Taylor, we got an insert rookie. Chris Copeland to 199, and Mike Scott, all the base rookies are to 249. So no super huge or valuable players here. But I've kind of gotten all the the big names I needed to get. So a lot of this set chase now is going to be just filling out the. Uh, Filling out the rest that I still need to pick up. Here's some more rookie, or another rookie, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, which I think, I think I may have gotten in a different lot already at some point. Drew Holiday. Uh, again, I'll, <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of sorting to do with all these and uh, and uh, see which ones I'm still missing. All right, we did get some big rookies in part of this order though, and I have more big rookies coming in future orders. But this was a huge one. Checked off the list. Kawhi, rookie, number to 249. Again, these don't seem to really sell all that often. You'll see these sitting on eBay for crazy prices, like hundreds of dollars and things like that. I paid, obviously, less than that. But still, was not cheap getting this one, number to 249. So that was a really nice one uh, for this set chase, as well as the insert sets that I'm working on in addition to all the base. So there's the vet insert set. Bought these from the same seller, Curry. Again, to 199, one of the biggest names in that set that I needed. And here's a, the other Kawhi to 199. So I got both Kawhi rookies, both the the insert to 199 and the base of 249. Curry, really big one. Checked off the list for the veteran set to 199. And last one right here, really big one, Kobe. Again, probably the most expensive vet to buy from this uh, this uh, insert set number to 199. Man, I'm just loving everything out of this set. Can't wait to, to I can start actually completing some of these. I'm getting pretty close on some of these, or not really close, but making really good progress. Um, okay, all there's all elite stuff right there. 
Next batch, we got a ton of my guy, Denny. Back when his prices were still really cheap and I got some really good deals on a lot of these, especially ones like these, um, these kind of not super short print, not rookie, but still serial numbered stuff. Um, so now ever since uh, 2023, 24 hoops came out. So that was the first NBA set to be released for 23, 24 and stuck on there. I uh, got the silver to 199, green to 99, and again, in, in not in the, with this batch, but in the next few batches that are going to be coming after this one. Got a bunch more of these parallels coming. In addition to the green from 23, 24, I also didn't have his green rookie to 99. So there we go, the 2020 rookie to 99. Add that to my Denny binder. Here's some other cheap stuff. This will go in the uh, Denny binder with all my Chronicle stuff. So this is a non-numbered um, T-Mall parallel. I like the scope on it though. It's a really nice looking card. Not numbered or anything, not super rare, but again, on, if I can find that stuff for under a buck, I'll definitely add it. Here's a kind of a unique Denny. This is a Panini Instant card, and I get that actually, is that the Panini seal on it? I guess I'll leave it in the, uh, uh, call this uncirculated with the Panini seal still on it. Um, I guess they didn't want to put it right over here because it would be kind of blocking his, his the ball and then maybe part of his head. Um, and I don't do a lot of Panini Instant because a lot of times they have like really high print runs and I don't really know what to make of a lot of these sets. But this was only 88, 83 of 88. So not a lot of people, um, I guess, went for this one. So this is pretty rare. I figured, and again, this was like a dollar. So can't hurt to pick that up. Got more Denny Rookie stuff. Got these from the same seller. So these are all sent in the same batch. And again, these were all really cheap. I didn't really want this one all that much. It's just the base rookie from uh, the National. But this was being sold in a lot with this Tiger Stripe. So again, I don't think the Tiger Stripes are as rare um, for the collegiate stuff compared to the NBA stuff. But again, this is still under a dollar. So I, I couldn't turn it down for, for that cheap of a price. And also right here, this was like a dollar or two dollars green. Select, numbered out of only 75. This is more serial number Denny stuff. Again, super cheap, pick this up. This is a red choice, number 299. I got this for 14 cents plus shipping. <laughs> it was a four, all the card hobby bids start at 14 cents and no one else bid on this. Uh, so I got it for 14 cents plus shipping. So very nice there. Here was another nice cheap pair. These, these also both came from the same seller. Got a blue crystal to 99. I think I had one of these already, but again, this was like 50 cents, super cheap. This was also like maybe two or three bucks, maybe a couple, maybe three or four bucks. Either way, it was still really cheap. Denny insert from uh, Crown Royale. I like the blue and the surface effect there. And on the back, we got Luca and it's number to 75. So I think Luca probably drives the value of this card up a little bit. Uh, a lot of times duels can, the, the value can go down, but I think Luca is such a, so big in the hobby. So that's a pretty nice one there. Denny got paired with him on that card. Now we got a nice run of golds here. So recon, this is from 22, 23 recon. So again, super cheap. Gold, two out of 10, this was like $4. I'll pay four bucks for some Denny gold stuff all day. This one also. I think was like three or four bucks, but it is Mosaic from 22, 23, true gold, eight out of 10. And this next gold was a little more expensive. This one was not super cheap. <laughs> this one is from Prism. Um, it is the T-Mall exclusive gold wave. So in, in previous years, the gold waves were more common, but in 2021, they started serial numbering them. So this one is eight out of 10 on the gold wave. I already have one of these, but again, I'm gonna be doing a, a consolidation project like I've done with my guy Alonzo Morning. If you missed that consolidation video early, earlier in the week, check that out for sure. 
I'm gonna be doing the same thing with Denny. So it's duplicates and other stuff I don't need, I'll, I'll piece it all together and do another big project, selling a bunch, consigning it, and then seeing what I can upgrade into after doing those consignments. So nice few golds right there. Here is another really nice gold. Uh, again, not a rookie, not an on-card auto, but man, the Flux Gold seems to pop a lot better than a lot of the other golds out there. It just seems more gold and more shiny. I like the really bright gold border all the way around. And the best part of this one, jersey number, 9 out of 10. <laughs> uh, so again, this, I guess this was not super cheap, not super expensive, maybe 20 bucks or something like that. But jersey number, gold auto, I'll take it. And then the last... Denny card is from National Treasures. So I didn't have any National Treasures autos of Denny. And this is not um, like the true RPA. It's not even the horizontal RPA. This is an insert. Um, the true RPAs are part of the base set. This is from Colossal Materials. Not a patch, just a single swatch, kind of a small auto, number to 49. So not the best National Treasures um, rookie jersey auto, but still a pretty cool one. Didn't have any NT stuff like this in my PC. So add that. And now for our last package here, we got some really cool and rare stuff in here. All right. First one, Zoe Tiger Stripe. Have been looking for one of these forever. This is from 2021 Prism. So now we have 2023 Prism out. So this is actually two years old, this Prism. And this is why I threw this Tiger Stripe up from 2019. For some reason, this one seems much more common and much more available. I've, it's, an, it's an older set, it's two years older, but still this set's already two years old now at this point. I've seen tons of the, tons of sales of these. If you go look at any sales app, you'll see a bunch of sales of this card from 2019, but they must have made the Tigers more rare in 2021 because I've been searching for these forever. Had a saved eBay search, was always checking a bunch of different platforms. For some reason, they just never came available. I was only able to find one sale uh, on eBay and it was like, I forget how much it was, like 60, 70, 80 bucks. It was kind of expensive. Someone just threw it up for a buy it now and it got snatched up immediately and I never even saw it. So someone must have bought it as soon as it got listed. And I have never seen another one listed or sold since that one got sold. This is the only other one I was able to find. And I got this super cheap. I want to say, I don't think I even paid like 30 bucks for this. It might've been even less. So I really happy that I found this one when I did, because the, like I said, I, I just can't seem to find them anywhere else. So that is going to be added to the 2021 prism rainbow, which at this point I have every single card in the rainbow, except for the one of ones. And uh, there's, I think, one more choice, red, purple, blue. I forget what the colors are, but it's numbered to 15. I don't have that one. And then the, the Prism Factory set that was released through Target. There's Hyper Parallels that are have different colors that are basically just ghosts. No one ever seems to have those or sell them, so I kind of act like they don't exist. Another super rare card. This one is my Gam Manu. So the rest of these cards we got are all Ginobili stuff from 20... What year was this? 2014, 15 Donruss. They have a lot of these stat line parallels that are relative to some number for the player. And this is by far the rarest one for Ginobili. 13 seasons in the league. For some reason, 13 seasons in the league, but they made the card numbered out of 12. It's 12 out of 12. So the bookend right on the back, there are parallels for points, rebounds. Uh, actually, hmm, I, they've changed it. I have to go back and check. They, they change it from year to year. They did this in 2014, 15, and also in 2015, 16. And I think I might have all the stat line ones now, um, but this was the hardest one to find since it was only number to 12. Some of them are over 100. Some of them are like the 30 to 42. So, but that one to 12, man, I've again, never, have never seen this for sale or listed anywhere. So <laughs> these are the kind of steals that I really like uh, card hobby for. All right, another Ginobili. Let's pull this one out. And let's see what we got here. National Treasures. This is a super thick card. That like barely fits in this thick top loader. Another Jersey patch autograph. So just like the other National Treasures that I picked up um, in a recent mail day, for some reason, they 
have keep putting all the best patches into sticker auto sets. I've seen a lot of new cards in Ginobili from even from Flawless, National Treasures, all kinds of products. The on-card autos that are patches, they're putting kind of weak looking like trim patches in all those sets. And they put all the best patches in the sticker auto set, which I don't quite understand, um, but I don't really care. I, I like the card just mainly for the patch. It's probably a piece, you can actually even see he's wearing a black jersey. So this corner here is probably like a piece of the S or a piece of the P or the R maybe, but it's definitely part of one of the letters in the logo. Um, I really like the hollow foil accents on the card as well. It's numbered out of only 25. Only bummer is that it's a sticker auto, but everything else is about the card is really cool. One of these days, if I could maybe find a way to get Ginobili to autograph these, I would I would actually love to rip the sticker off and have him sign it on card. I think that would be really cool, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. If anybody knows how to get Ginobili to sign stuff, I don't know if they do private signings or signings through the mail or whatever, but I would love to love to try and get that one. Okay. Um, couple, only two more cards here. Another really cool, rare one that I've been trying to find for a while. So similar to this feature length here, this is the base numbered out of 25. This is the first off the line gold numbered out of only 11. This one is four out of 11. So piecing these together, these are the only two parallels of this card, the base of 25 and the first off the line gold to 11. There are no other parallels, but since there are no other parallels, I've been trying to find the printing plates for all of these. I actually have two of them already. Another one is on the way. So I am three of four printing parallels now in this quote unquote rainbow, if you want to call it. I would love to find that fourth printing parallel or printing plate. I guess, to, to have kind of a true rainbow with all the parallels. I remember trying to buy one of these when they first came out. They, I only saw one or two sell and they all sold for a ton. I actually saw Pac-Man pulled one of these when he did some huge video where he opened like a hundred packs or a thousand packs or something crazy. Um, he pulled one of these from a first off the line uh, Noir box and I reached out to him to see if he would sell it, but he didn't want to. And I'm glad I didn't buy it from him because I probably would have paid more at the time. I think I won this for like 30 bucks. So gold parallel number to 11 for that cheap is crazy, crazy low. And it's an awesome looking card. Again, the gold hollow foil looks awesome. Really cool accents all the way around. I love the gold, gold bar border. Very, very cool card. And last card in this shipment. It's a card I already have, but there's a reason I got one more. Guys, see that number on the back. 42 out of 50. Tops Chrome Gold Refractor. Last year of Tops Chrome. And the reason I bought this is because I know, I know there's some people that still <laughs> want this card and I didn't want to give up the one that I already had. Uh, but now that I have two of them, I might be able, able to either sell this or use it as trade bait for another big Ginobili that I'm looking for. Um, and man, this one looks clean. Um... Maybe a tiny bit of white on the corners, but it's pretty minimal. And especially with a dark border like this, it's really easy to get white on the corners. Centering looks awesome as well. So I already have a PSA 9 of this, but my PSA 9 is slightly off center. The centering looks better on this one. So if I can grade this and it gets a 9, I'll probably keep this one and sell the one that's slightly off center. But before I do anything, I'll probably grade this. Um, man, I can't believe I found another one of these. And again, this was, this was not cheap, but it wasn't super insanely expensive. So I think if I can get a good grade out of this, it might be a good, uh, a good flip or a good trade into another big Ginobili card. So man, bunch of huge cards, lots of set chase stuff, lots of cool PC stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.